Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The PvP continues here in the round of eight. Now, Rifkin casting with James uh, or Mel. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I've given up, man. You're just James forever. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> and Zombie Grub. Yo, I started doing it pretty good yesterday after Zombie Grub left. Maybe yeah. that's the key here. But, uh, anyways. Should I get rid of Zombie Grub? Is that what you Sure. Think? Awkward, awesome track as continues. Bottom line, guys. Spotting here in the bottom right corner of the map. He leads 1-0 at the moment, playing for Invasion Esport. It's the red Protoss Super. Out at the 11 o'clock pl position, playing as Blue Protoss Liquid's Hero. You know, I just noticed it's Superhero. Oh. Ha! Did I just notice you that? You just blew my mind, dude, so yeah. <laughs> oh, no, like, did you guys know before? No, I didn't notice. I would have been the first to crack a really stupid joke if I did, man. Yeah. And Superman's colors are red and blue. <gasps> and, okay, oh, one more, one more. The path from base to base on King's Age Station is kind of an S. Oh. A little bit. It's like a, like a backwards S. But... Party. <laughs> yeah, for real. Damn, dude. It is a backwards ass, you're right. If this was, if this was Ninja Turtles, like, yeah, you party pooper, man. No question. Oh, sure, sure, okay, okay, man. Anyways. Hero's, Hero's known to have a lot of bad PvPs. Like, he's a, he's a strategy-based, a focused player. He, he does a lot of macros, but he, his interpretation of macro games in all different matchups is... Not same with a lot of other Protoss players, and also he gets tunnel visioned a lot. You know, yesterday we talked about how Revival has this um, the illness, the conditions, <laughs> yeah. fighting with his feet rather than controlling with his mouse. But Hero has the same thing. He he likes to win in in style. He likes to do you know fun, interest interesting stuff that not a lot of people get to see, and he kind of gets tunnel vision where only thing he's focusing at is just harassments harassments and harassments mm. and in the last game he was pressured so much that he wasn't able to do a lot of harassments um, against super and one time that he did he caught himself or he found himself being like five gateways behind so really in that game there wasn't much he could have done <laughs> yeah I mean, I tried looking up their stats. Um, they just simply haven't been a lot of PVPs these guys have played in like you know professional leagues. Uh, uh, we have our, our own tournaments. So it's pretty much Super's most recent PvP against First. But then otherwise, it's been a couple of months. They really had a good, nice. a good streak of a lot of practice. Dark Tried. I'm thinking so too, man, because he goes for the Twilight Council pretty darn quick. Pilot hasn't been started yet, though. Uh, so we're really waiting to see that come down first. Mm. I mean, two he gateways. Really utilizes Dark, Dark Templars uh, very well in all three matchups with. You know, different timings. This one's obviously the earliest one you could do. What is Super gonna do? <laughs> Super said they're the sickest. Yeah, counter proxy, or he's like, <laughs> just I don't know, looking that. around. But um, yeah, probe signing up here for the Zambi. We'll see where it goes for that sake. But it is gonna be a dark shrine. So nice call out of James. <laughs> uh. This was really well hidden too, because behind this, what like what did Super see, right? Rather than getting the fastest Dark Shrine out possible and uh, faking his opponent out, had Super actually continued to scout, he would have seen the second pylon at base. He would have known nothing fishy was going on, and this looked like a regular opening out of Hero. It was possibly either Blink or even just 3-gate aggression. Super going for his own Nexus isn't so bad. Uh, and with a couple of centuries out, one thing we very commonly see is like between the 6 and 7 minute mark, Protoss players tend to keep an eye on that ramp, and if they see that Shimmer, they just throw it in that force field. Uh, should it get past the, the ramp? Well, we've seen cool moves where people, players will force field off their mineral lines and buy as much time to get that observer out. I mean, there is the robo with the Nexus. This Dark Shrine is not an auto win by any stretch of the imagination. Interesting thing is, like you mentioned, Hero started off um, looking exactly the same build as the last time, and that's what Super saw, minus the fact that second pylon was missing from the previous game to this one, but Super didn't seem to oh care Oh my god, anyway. you guys called it. Oh my god. I, am like, I know you like your god. macro play and all that, oh like, god, but you gotta get man. with the times, and it's all about the proxy. A two base cheese. proxy Stargate? When I saw him put on the Nexus, I was like, well, why would he proxy Stargate now? What I really like though is that they chose the, like really dynamically oh, oh, different. Oh, DTs are gonna walk straight in. Yeah. Super got distracted with the hallucinated Phoenix's scouting. And the stalkers in the front too. Come in at all. 
Oh, he's gonna lose a lot of probes for this. He doesn't pull immediately, so seven go down, eight go down. Kill the pylon. He could pylon. kill the pylon. If he was paying pylon. attention, he would have killed the pylon, pylon, but he wasn't, so he doesn't, and he won't. And this observer pylon. is gonna get out. And Hero, oh. <laughs> the the you chokes. Know. He's assuming that, like, Observer's already out, you know? <laughs> I think that is the case. Like, I think he was assuming there was already one in play, otherwise he would have dived for that, but... Um, the other part of it, too, is, like, he didn't go for the fastest Star Shrine possible. If you do that, if you cut corners, if you don't go for that second gate immediately, uh, you actually get there at a time where you're confident you can pick off that pile, and you know there's not going to be the Observer out. But that same argument could be made if he wasn't distracting with the stalkers he had in the natural. Super might have actually force fitted off that ramp. Either way, 18 probes are still 18 probes. And even though he's got a nexus down at the natural, making up that difference is not going to be easy. That was a lot of kills to take. Yeah. Well, the Oracle's on the way, and that is also going to be a surprise. So maybe yeah. he will literally even oh. up the works. Did he go? Okay, as you say, did he not have his own mothership course? It's just over here to the side. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> but an overcharge is a pretty down. big deal. Where are the units, though? Um, attacking with an Oracle in the main and this little group in the front, he's pretty much going to use Heroes' attacks against him. And Heroes counterattacking with a Warp Prism. I don't know what's going to happen, guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, you got a Force Field? Oh. That's the worst Force Field. Well, it's still probably not worth it for Super to run up there. Okay. No, definitely not. GG is going to be called. Not enough damage caused at a counterattack after yeah. taking like 20 and, yeah. probe kills or whatever. <laughs> kind of the Oracle, sense. I think, was killed.